Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am focusing on the adorable Rustic Crate Bundle. This is an all season stamp set. We've got fall, we've got uh, Christmas, and then we've got spring and summer. And today's card, I am gonna actually use that spring and summer image, which, you know, it's not necessarily spring and summer. You could color it fall colors as well, which is kind of what I've done. Um, I have made kind of a fun fold card. It opens like this. Um, the paper that I am using is from the Countryside in Designer Series paper from our annual catalog in that beautiful boho blue. And then I am also using a piece from the Oh Holy Night um, Designer Series paper set. So that's where the papers are from. Okay, let's do our stamping first. We are going to stamp this image in memento black and then color it with our Stampin' Blends. All right, so just right on basic white, like that. All right, now the colors I am using are pumpkin pie, um, uh, boho blue, suddenly I couldn't remember, boho blue, copper clay, and old olive. All right, so let's just go um, left to right. We'll start right here with our old olive. And we're going to color these guys in. This, this uh, whole piece doesn't need a whole lot of um, shadowing or detail. I'm gonna add a little bit to our orange leaves, but other than that, everything else is pretty much just one color um, instead of using the light and dark. For these, I'm gonna take the Pumpkin Pie Light Stampin' Blend and I'm gonna give them a coating of light pumpkin pie. And then I'm gonna just take my dark and I'm just gonna flick in some of that darker color there where the veins are of the, the leaves. Okay, like that. Now for the next one, we're gonna use the light boho blue. And if you have glasses, <laughs> Make sure to grab them. Mine are missing. The pair that I keep here in my studio have gone rogue. I don't know. I think I might have taken them inside, but of course, I am in too much of a hurry today to go and look for them. So I am just willing my eyes to work. Come on, guys. Doing a lot of blinking. <laughs> All right, so just really, this, these are so little, you're just kind of dotting, dotting that color. And they kind of intertwine over here with this other plant, so look real closely. All right, then last but not least, one of our in colors is a really fun color called Copper Clay, kind of a rusty brown. Um, it's not quite as orangey or rusty as our Cajun Craze. It's more... Um, Subtle maybe than the Cajun Craze color. It's a great fall color. All right, coloring all these leaves in. Doesn't take too much time. There we go. Oh, I missed a couple right in the middle. All right, so now we've got that. We're gonna take the dies and we are going to cut this out, of course, with a matching die. We're gonna cut some cute little blue gardening gloves. And we're gonna cut out the crate from Crumb Cake cardstock right here. Um, we're also going to take this little die right here. These are like the little hinges on the box and we're gonna cut that from Early Espresso. So we've got a lot of cutting to do. Let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And I think we can get all of this through at one time. I am going to actually use a piece of post-it tape to hold my die down, um, especially when you are feeding a bunch of things through. Sometimes the dies pop and move around a little bit. So I'm gonna add this here, but also because my plates are very worn, I need to get some new plates and they're um, a little bit warped. And I don't wanna have to start over and color that all over again if my die jumps. All right, we've got it all on here. 
These dies will also fit in your mini cut and emboss machine, not all at once, like the big cut and, cut and emboss machine, but individually, they definitely all will fit if you have the smaller machine. Okay, let's see, here's our stamped image. And we've got our cute little gardening gloves right there. And then we've got our little hinges and our crumb cake crate. Okay, so now take your crate and you wanna fold these little tabs in upwards. You, you, initially, it looks like they should be folded backwards, but no, they need to come forward, All right? And then you wanna take your liquid glue and remember, a little goes a long way. So I like to kind of put it on there and then spread it around and not squeeze too much because you don't want it to squeeze out on the edges. And we're gonna lay this down right here, matching those tabs with the side of the crate. If you use glue, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room because it's not quite dry yet. All right, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of liquid glue, just, I mean, a hair thin amount, put that right there. And then I'm gonna take my, my little hinges and set them down right there. If I can get that one to turn around, right there. Aren't those cute? That really gives you some detail on that um, that crate. Wipe away a little bit of that glue. There we go. All right, now, while that's drying, I'm just gonna take my, my um, clear block and set it on there so that it will dry flat and not pop up while we're still working. And while that's happening, we could put the rest of our card together. I have a boho blue card base, and what I have done is um, taken a long sheet of cardstock and scored it at five and a half and then cut it at four and a fourth. But we need this front part to be two and three fourths inches. So I'm just gonna cut that right in half at two and three fourths. So it looks just like that. Now we're gonna get our big piece of boho blue countryside in designer series paper and put that right there. And then we will put the smaller piece right here. And then we have this, this crumb cake piece. And we're gonna put the designer series paper here on the front. And you want the hinge of your card to be on the right side. All right, and then before I do this, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on the inside of this. So, let's see, do I have a piece of scratch paper? I do not. So let's see, oh, you know what I do? Right here, let me pull it out. I have a little pack of grid paper because we don't wanna get this on our work surface. We're just gonna cut, we're just gonna stamp the edge of it. All right, so just a little bit right here in the corner of the inside piece like that. And then you can color it the exact same way you did. All right. Color this with the uh, copper clay. Um, stamp and blend, light. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am using the bullet end of my marker. It's a little bit easier, I think, to get into these smaller, um, smaller images with your bullet end. And then we'll take that boho blue and really you just need to dot, dot, dot the color on all of the little um, parts of the plant. Okay, now one other thing I decided to do on this, I've got dimensional backings everywhere today, is to take my crumb cake 
um, and just flick on some color like this, just to add a little bit of interest to our piece, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my little gloves and I'm just gonna put them down here, kind of like they're just down here after they've been gardening, like that. And then we will adhere that to the inside of our other piece. Okay, and then we're gonna put this right here in the middle. And I kind of like to eyeball it, but before I stick it down, close that and then close that and then really give it a look and get it straight. All right. Okay, now for our crumb cake piece, hopefully I didn't cut off too much. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna put it on the right side over here. Blessed beyond measure. That's a great sentiment. And then we will trim this off. Like that. And we're gonna put that right across the front here like that and then let's get our cute little crate look at how cute it is so stinking cute i'm going to go ahead and put these in here like this and then i'm going to adhere them all together with dimensionals like that i think we might need one more right here like that and we'll put that right there all right last but not least let's add some embellishments i have copper clay jute twine or jute thread. i think it's called jute twine i don't think it's called jute thread it's probably too thick to be a thread all right we'll put that right there at the bottom of our crate and then i've got these really fun um adhesive backed speckled dots and we'll take our copper clay and crumb cake colors and just kind of sprinkle them around the front of our card like this and there you go a really fun and pretty rustic crate card all right don't forget hop over to my blog there is a free pdf there for you it has the uh, measurements and supply list as well as two other rustic crate cards all right everybody have fun happy stamping thanks so much bye-bye